Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been getting a number of people coming in here with issues regarding their shoulder, in particular, the, the front of their shoulder, that kind of that deltoid um, area, also kind of where the bicep comes in and, and meets with the anterior deltoid muscle, uh, the muscle, the, the big muscle uh, on, on your shoulder. So they're having problems in that in through there. There's a lot of business going on with the shoulder. You know, you got a lot of attachments with muscles and stuff, but, the, but we're finding a lot of junk, if you will, for lack of a better description, we're finding a lot of junk in this anterior deltoid. Let's face it, you know, everything's in front of us. You know, we do work on the computer, we're doing texting, everything's just kind of forward. So then this, this muscle gets kind of overused and stuff, and you can kind of palpate it on yourself you stick your fingers right in through here and you can feel these ropey bands uh, of tissue in the anterior deltoid and if those things are kind of nasty in through there it can inhibit function proper function of that muscle group so in other words when you start to try to reach overhead if these guys are already kind of cramped up and and, and not um, already in a, in a pre-fatigued state you're not going to be able to push something overhead as well as if you would if they're a little bit more relaxed. So how do you fix this stuff? How do you, how do you get rid of this ropiness going on uh, in, in this anterior deltoid muscle? So uh, an easy way to do that would be grab your good old handy dandy foam roller. So you take your handy dandy foam roller. I like to kind of towards the end of the foam roller here so I have room for my other part of my body to be in. So if it's my right shoulder, I'm going to use the, this end, you see the foam roller here, it's like that. I'm going to use this end of it to roll the front of my shoulder here. So I'm going to lay in, in this position just like this. I like to externally rotate, so it's thumb out, you know, start with the thumb out if you will. So palm is going to be kind of down toward the ground. See that there, palms on the ground? Yeah, and you're just in here, nice and easy. Again, you do this to your tolerance, so you can lay your whole weight on here if you want, or you can support yourself with your other arm back here, kind of supporting yourself in this position. And just, you can oscillate back and, you know, roll it back and forth. If you find this, roll it back and forth nice and easy, again, to your tolerance, uh, you don't want to sit here in agony. Remember, these um, techniques are, you help, are used to help you relax that muscle tissue in through there, right there. And see what's kind of neat about using the end part. I can kind of get that end part to kind of dig in a little bit into that spot. See that? Right in there, into that spot. And just back and forth. You can oscillate smaller movements in there if you want. You can use bigger movements back and forth and through there like this. And then you can start moving towards not just the anterior, but maybe anterior, anterior and middle part. You can feel that there's a junky spot right here. And I can get on that right there. Again, palm flat like that. Ooh, there's a good spot right there for me. So I can just kind of hang out right here in that spot. Oscillate back and forth into that area. What's great about using the foam roller uh, for the anterior delt is it creates, uh, sometimes people will say, oh, why don't you use a lacrosse ball? Well, sometimes lacrosse ball, you're, you're kind of too close to the ground. It doesn't elevate you off the ground as much. Where using a foam roller or something like this with a six inch diameter, you've got elevation for your other part of your body to hang out in and support. So right in here, back and forth. And don't just limit it to the front of the delt. Obviously, we're talking about the front of the delt, but sometimes you'll feel junky stuff in the middle part of the delt. So then you just move the, you just move the foam roller to get the middle part of your deltoid. Right in here. I don't know if you can see that there. Let me see. So, we're going to work in the front of the delt here. Now we want to work, move the middle part right here. There's some stuff going on in here. You can just, you can, now you're going to, again, you're, ex, you're internally rotating now. Now your palm's up. 
and you're getting that middle part of the deltoid right in there and there's some good spots in there too Woo! in the middle part of your deltoid oscillate back and forth with the foam roller just like that and you feel that and through there then you retest just kind of see how it, that just feels a lot more looser in through there a lot less discomfort gives me more options feels just more freer so if I'm gonna do an overhead press or a lateral raise I just have that much more movement in through there so if you have any questions with this video uh, questions about the anterior delt and uh, some of the junk if you will that can happen with the anterior delt and or the middle delt leave them off in the comment section below we thank you for watching we appreciate it and please like subscribe and share so that other people can benefit from this video and when you hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell notifications button so that way uh, you don't miss any videos coming here in the near future again we thank you for watching we appreciate it we'll see you next time Take care. Bye-bye.